what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about six big tech stocks but before we do that please hit that like button and also if you haven't already subscribed to the channel that is greatly appreciated guys and now let's get right into Tesla which is down close to 10% and I've been waiting for this dip if you are subscribed to my channel you know that I sold my Tesla shares and since then I've been waiting to get my hands into Tesla and get some shares and today I bought some shares only 150 shares and I'm going to buy even more looking to add actually looking to get 1000 shares of Tesla now I'm not going to buy this is not a swing trade this is actually a long-term investment on Tesla but I'm not buying anymore at this level I'll be buying down here at 146 and then anything below 146 I'll just be adding more into my position now also I played some Tesla calls early in the morning right at opening Tesla opened at 165 I got some 170 calls went in the money sold out for profit and now unfortunately Tesla not holding 167 and Tesla stock is oversold so yes we could see a bounce look at this guys came down to 160 was not able to close above 167 so that is gonna be a resistant to watch on Tesla but look at this Tesla is a big stock it's sitting below 171 where this lower Bollinger Band is sitting so that is oversold we could see a retracement early as tomorrow on Tesla back up to 167 to 170 and that would be right here where we got rejected before and even today so Tesla 167 where we got rejected before and that was holding as a support so that is gonna be a big level to break and above that we will be retracing 170 to 171 on Tesla lower Bollinger Band and also now we opened up a massive gap on top at 177.65 183.58 on Tesla stock so tomorrow guys big level of support all the way down here at 155 resistant to break on Tesla 167 and then watch out for a move all the way up to even 177 and I think it's going to bounce we're going to see a dead cat bounce before heading down to close this gap all the way down to 146 so 167 needs to break then needs to hold and then we're going to see some more upside below that Tesla could be coming down to 155 and that would be extremely oversold so watch out here on Tesla and now we're going to look at Microsoft on Microsoft it's down 0.81% on the day and now it's sitting right on top of this white line 20 SMA we actually retested white line 20 SMA at 285 right here and now it's holding that as a support into closing we have resistant on Microsoft at 287 290 we have support at 285 white line 20 SMA if that gives up Microsoft dropping all the way down to 281.14 to close this gap down here and below that there could be more downside down to 276.14 to fill this gap down here and then the breakout at 274 where we got rejected so many times and that would be some sort of dip on Microsoft until then guys uh, this is just chasing if you're buying and going long on Microsoft at this level and now we're going to look at meta and what a play here on meta guys shorted meta around 220 215 puts and unfortunately I sold out around 214 but this thing came all the way down to 212 went over the money and same thing like Microsoft I mean look at this it's holding above white line 20 SMA holding 212 as a support intraday we got a bounce off of this level and now it's sitting at 213 down 1.22 percent on the day so meta here guys it could be a time where meta could be rolling over right here below 212 meta could be coming all the way down to 201 to close this gap down here and then we have strong support at 197 
But what's interesting here on Meta, look at this lower Bollinger Band rapidly moving up. So that means what? We would not see Meta getting under 197 anytime soon, you know, until the earnings. And that is coming next week. So that's going to be something to watch next week on Meta. And also to the upside, we have resistance right here at 216. And then watch out for a move all the way back up to 220. And once we get over 220, more upside all the way up to 224 on Meta. And now we're going to look at Apple. On Apple stock, I mean, look at this insane move here on Apple stock, guys. How strong Apple stock is right now. It's not giving up anything. I mean, barely down a dollar for the day. And once again, 165.56 low for the day not even closing this gap down here at 165.39 and now it's up sitting close to 167 so apple stock until we see a big pullback on apple stock market is not going to dump anytime soon so if you're just blindly shorting everything uh, that is that is bad guys now on apple stock it's holding 165 as a support we have resistance at 170 and now it can go up to 170 definitely early as tomorrow apple stock retested the support 165 not only once three days right here and it's been holding above 165 unless we see a gap down below 163 apple heading all the way up to 170 and that could be coming early as tomorrow apple stock breaks 165 takes out 163 right here White line 20 SMA, then definitely it's rolling over. We're going to see Apple coming all the way down to 160 and then 158.49 to 157, which was that massive breakout point on Apple stock. And now we're going to look at Amazon. On Amazon stock is down 0.47% and I actually shorted Amazon today above 105, just under 105.25 got some 102 puts and this thing actually paid and look at this it's not looking that great we're not getting that breakout above 104 once again rejected again today yesterday was holding above 104 that was more bullish but now we need to hold 103 as a support also which is holding blue line 5 sma and it needs to break 104 and then we're going to see a quick trip up to 105.71 to 108.88 to close that gap on top. Below 103, we could see a drop down to 102, 101.26, white line 20 SMA. And if that gives up, we could be coming all the way down to 98 to 97 right here where Amazon stock held so many times as a support. And that is a strong support on Amazon. Below that, there is going to be more downside. But look at this. Lower Bollinger Band moving up, sitting at 97. So I don't see Amazon dropping below 97 until the earnings right here, guys. 427. So the earnings on Amazon is coming next week also. And that's going to be crucial for the market. With good earnings, this thing can go up even more. With bad earnings, we could see Amazon dropping down here at 86.40 to close this gap all the way down here. And now we're going to look at Google. Google stock is up 0.84% on the day and Google again up. And if you look at my screen, went all the way up to 106.89. So if you caught this dip around 105, once again, you made money. It's a decent move on Google stock and the option is not expensive. And this thing now up close to 106. And if you look at my screen, it just under 106.42 did not get that breakout above orange line and blue line 5 SMA on this daily chart. We have strong support at 105. And if that gives up, it's going to come down to 100. It's been holding 105 for the last week and a half. So that is a strong support 105. We also left a gap open on top. 107.59 so that could be coming tomorrow and above that 110 possible on google stock so let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section what do you guys think on tesla is it time to load up tesla because 
the last one the dip a lot of people missed out and now look at it guys it went up to what 220 and now we're getting another opportunity on tesla i know it's not if you're thinking about quick flipping on tesla yes you can possibly make some money day trading but i think if you're going long term definitely it's worth it to buy and hold some shares but definitely i'm not making any recommendation if you want to go and buy these are my trades my long-term position make sure you do your own research and i'll see you guys tomorrow night thank you so much